Good morning from the trail. Well, actually, I guess it's now noon. Last time you saw us, we were testing out the Grail water purifier filter out in Central Oregon. Today, we are hitting the trail and backpacking up to a lake. It's our first trip of the season and oh my God, body sore. <laughs> Not quite ready. <laughs> we're gonna be testing out the Sea to Summit Extreme uh, sleeping bag liner. Which is really good because I sleep very cold and there is still snow on the ground, even though we're getting close to June. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the low 40s and we're gonna be by a lake, so it's gonna be a little chilly tonight. Yeah. Who are we again? You have found Explorer Trek Adventure with Kelly and Greg. We cover everything camping from backpacking to adventure ass. More trees. found our spot that we've actually camped here before and luckily there is actually not snow on the ground unlike everywhere else around here. We have some visitors like a mallard and a his lady friend. Now that the tent is set up let's get our bedding. This is the Sea to Summit Reactor Extreme Liner. I don't really think that this is too heavy. Greg thinks it is a little bit heavy. 13.4 ounces with the case. It is the Mummy with Draw Cord Standard. Fabric technology is the Thermalite Far Infrared. Hopefully that means it's gonna be nice and toasty. Fabric treatment has a fresh odor control, which is gonna be awesome, especially after being sweaty from hiking all day. And then the Thermal Boost, it says it's a 15% plus. Not sure what exactly that means. I think some people think degrees, but it's actually a percentage. Let's take this out of the bag and see how it is. I'm very curious what this looks like in person because on the pictures on the website, it looked a little funny. Armholes, feet holes, hood. Um, so yes, I can see through this fabric. Okay, this is the hood, armholes. Okay, there literally is armholes. So if my feet get hot, sometimes they do get hot. So you could stick them out or it does have the cinch, cinch so we can close it up. Sleeping pad I'm using tonight is the Nemo Tensor. It's the 25 inch one. The frogs had been going and then all of a sudden they just completely stopped. So I'm thinking, is there a predator? Hopefully not. Cougar? Hopefully not. Anyways, I'm gonna be using the Nemo Forte 20 degree bag. Does that mean using it, it goes down to 20 degrees? Absolutely not, unless you're wearing a jacket extra layer of clothing, whole bunch of layers. And of course, I can't forget my Nemo Philo pillow. Luxury item, yes I know, but I want a pillow. This actually fits right into the sleeping bag, but I'm gonna keep it on, on the outside. While it's light out, I'm gonna get into it just to see. See how it fits, let's get my shoes off. This material is really soft. It reminds me of a really thin t-shirt material. Um, Greg's actually interested in trying this out because he uses a quilt and with the quilt, he lays directly onto the sleeping pad, which is not the most comfortable. It has two snaps at the top that not only opens it up so you can get into it, but also makes the openings for the armholes. The frogs are back. So maybe the predator is gone, goodness. I'm gonna get into this. Um, there's not like a side zip or anything, so either, you know what I could do, is this, since there is this hole at the bottom, I could literally just go like this. <laughs> Maybe? Yes? Okay. And then, okay, here's the hood, so I know the top is here. I could do this, and then I could just shimmy it down my body. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap it and then put my arm through it. This is pretty wide too. I mean, there's like a huge amount of room in here. Okay, get my arm in there. Let's see. <laughs> my toes are sticking out. But if I was cold, I could do the cinch. Tie them off. 
I can feel a little bit like a mummy, it, uh, I don't know. And then I noticed that there is also another cinch up here. So I could cinch the hood as well. I don't know if that was the best way to get into it. I think that next time I'll actually, especially since it'll be inside my sleeping bag, I'll just climb into it like, like a sleeping bag. Um, there is a lot of room though in here. So that will be nice. Do I feel extra heat coming off of this? No, I do not. But it'll be interesting to see once it's in the sleeping bag, if that does help. Uh, this is um, really actually comfortable. It feels like, you know, when you're laying in bed and you just have a nice sheet on top of you. I'm wondering if this will be able to be the only use during hot summer months instead of having to haul around the sleeping bag. I'm gonna take this off and I think I will go ahead and feed this into my sleeping bag so it's all ready for tonight. And let's go cook some food. I am hungry. What are you doing? Are you cherry picking? The... <laughs> I'm cherry picking. I've been doing a lot. We got red peppers, onion, broccoli, mushrooms. We have a raging fire. Nice and warm. It's almost bedtime. Fire's burned itself pretty far down. We burned a lot of wood tonight. We're gonna get Kelly wrapped into the old Sea to Summit. See how that works tonight. We'll let you know in the morning. These frogs are so noisy. This is the wash basin for our GSI pot. Up here on the top. Metal or plastic? Plastic. They are plastic little snaps. Okay, one sleeve. So far, so good. We're hitting the sack, but check out these frogs. Yeah, it's super weird. They croak for five or ten minutes, and then they all just silence all at the same time. <laughs> super weird. And then one will start up, and then they'll all start up. Are you warming up over there? I actually am. I think this is giving off some heat. Uh, I can definitely tell a little bit of a noticeable difference. It's almost noon <laughs> and we are uh, just getting coffee right now. <laughs> but that's okay. We like to sleep in and, and hang out. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, how did the reactor do last night? So it got down to low 40s last night. Um, well, it actually got down to 42. Yeah. I think when we went to bed, it was 48. And I was watching, I've got a little temperature monitor on my backpack and it was just slowly <laughs> down. And yeah. it bottomed out at 42. It was cold enough for me to actually, I put my stocking cap on. I slept with that on, I slept with my socks on. Um, it worked fine. I didn't feel like I was um, cumbersome, like I was tight in it, like you normally do with mummies. Um, I do believe it added a little extra warmth to my legs. Um, the top half, not so much, except for nice thing is that the hood was big enough so it stayed in place. Did you have it over your head? I did have it over, actually I had it down so low that it was hanging over my. Did you have the 
but did you have it well, so that, that is the interesting thing. The, um, I did move one a certain way and it's, the snaps came undone. And then it felt like it was a hot mess. So then I hurried and I snapped. Try, I, and it was difficult finding the snaps. I had to kind of follow the hood up to get to it and then snapped it and I just kept my arms. I wish that actually, I almost wish it had sleeves. I think that would make it even, <laughs> <laughs> even better. So you don't roll around as much as I do, but did you find yourself getting tangled? Not at like all. Like twisted? Mm -mm. And I moved from my side to my back to my side to my, I moved around a lot last night and I didn't feel twisted at all. I did not um, tie the bottoms, so the bottoms were open. Um, my feet, my feet were hot enough so with my feet socks on. Out? My feet were hanging out, yeah. At some points I did actually like, I felt that it was kind of rising up a little bit. So I did, you know, move it back down inside though. Um, it really just felt like I had a sheet on me. I don't know if it was. I do like the feel. It's, 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 it's super, a little bit, super soft. It's a little bit slick, which is that probably nice because then you can actually move around with it, not mm -hmm. getting it. It feels like a really thin t-shirt layer, which I, I don't know, I really like that. Like a sleep, almost like a sleeper shirt. I think this will be really nice for you to try because then uh, sleeping on this instead of uh, you know the mattress, the um, air pad. With my quilt. Because mm -hmm. sometimes sleeping on those <coughs> mattresses is, especially if you're like last night I had long johns on, so I didn't have bare skin touching the, mm -hmm. the mattress. But sometimes that's it's yeah. kind of a gross feel. <laughs> Plus, it's super noisy. Um, yeah, and that's the thing. I did like it on me because the, even the sleeping bag, the Nemo sleeping bag, it is a little bit slick. So I felt like I was not sliding all over the place. But the other thing is that with the Nemo sleeping bag, um, it is a little bit bigger on my body. So there are gaps of air. So I, I still did kind of feel that, but then I was able to tuck it in all around me. And this did help with that. Would I say that this was like a massive heat inductor? No. It was just a nice, comfortable addition. It's like basically having an extra base layer, but loose, a loose base layer. So it's kind of hard. They, they say 15%, but I don't, I don't know. In like means. real world terms, yeah. I have no idea what that means. Yeah. yeah, I think if you just treat it like another layer mm -hmm. that you're wearing, mm -hmm. except you're not wearing, kind of wearing <laughs> because it has sleeves, <laughs> sleeve holes. Yeah. So did you go to the bathroom last night? I did not. I did it went this morning. Of course, I just did you pulled. Crawl, but did you have to crawl back into it? I did have to crawl back into it. Oh, was that hard? No, did it, it was like hard. jam itself at the bottom of your sleeping bag, and then you have to dig it out. No, uh, well, no, it didn't. <laughs> of course, I did. Um, I um, at one point I did put it on, <laughs> like I demonstrated over my head instead of <laughs> into it. As, as actually, I think it's kind of easy to do. It's kind of like putting a. Almost like maybe just putting a nightgown or something on it, doing it that way instead of getting into a sleeping bag. But yeah, I mean. Okay, million dollar question mm -hmm. is, is, would you buy it again? Would I buy it again? I don't necessarily know if I need it. I don't know if I would buy it again. Well, would you buy it again if like your sleeping bag and your layers weren't doing enough? Yes, I would, yes. Would you think would. that would be or would you like go for something completely different? Um, if I didn't think that my layers and I okay, I so I didn't have to put any extra jackets on or anything like that, but, um, if I knew that I was going to be out somewhere really cold, I actually, I think I would go with a thicker one because this really the, just feels like I'm just wearing, having an extra t-shirt. Yeah, hold this for a second. Mm -hmm. The problem with the thicker one, because there's like three or four types of these. And when this is all balled up, mm -hmm. you can see it's kind of this big. The next one up was the fleece version, and it was like um, this big. Mm -hmm. It was ginormous, and it looked like it would be super warm, but it's, I mean, oh, it's as big okay. as that extra blanket I had. So there is no real yeah. step up from this one I without see. getting huge, really big. Well, if space was not an issue and if it was short hikes, then um, I would, I think the, getting an extra bigger fleece one wouldn't be bad, I think but this the actually, size wise, this is good. Yeah, I, I think, I think I haven't this tried also it would have a good market for travelers who are sleeping in yeah. hostels. Oh yes, that definitely. Or maybe a through hiker mm -hmm. and you you don't want to necessarily lay on it. Like if you had a quilt and you're a through hiker staying at a, a hostel, mm -hmm. <laughs> you had to lay on something that you gross mattress. Yeah. This would actually be pretty cool. I would be actually, I'm interested in seeing how well this does. I mean, if this is all you would need in the summertime when it's super hot out, 
I think that this would be nice because sometimes I just like having the sheet on me when it's hot, um, just because I like that feel of it. So I think that that would be a, this would be a bonus for that. So it will be interesting. I am interested to see how you like it though. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it with my quilt next yeah. time and see. As usual, we'll put links down in the description below for you. You can go watch this video next. You can find us at exploretrekadventure.com. And we'll see you next time.